Hey, a friend, Chris here from WhiteLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Let me ask you, when you're composing, recording with MIDI in Logic Pro, you ever notice that the playhead has to start all the way before any and all MIDI notes that you want to hear when you hit play? So any long-held chords, droning notes, drum beats, doesn't really matter what it is, but you have to pull the playhead all the way back so it can cross over that leftmost boundary of that MIDI data so you can hear it. And I totally understand this can get frustrating in a hurry. Because again, if you have long held material that maybe started a few bars ago, a minute or two ago, you don't wanna have to pull the playhead back each and every time you wanna hear one section of the song. Well, you can actually adapt this behavior in Logic Pro under the MIDI chase settings. Let me show you how right now. On screen, I have a riff that I've been playing around with and just take a look around. Clearly, everything is MIDI. I have Mellotron flutes that are held for quite a bit of time. I have an 808 bass that's held out on certain notes. And then I have some lead stuff. Let's take a listen to a couple bars of this and then we'll dig in. Cool, just pretty easy going. The drums are a little crazy, but if we take a look at the very top here, the Mellotron flutes, just take a listen to how this sounds. Pretty easy going, just holding a couple notes, a chord, that's it. Now noticing if I take the playhead and place it in the middle of the first chord, watch what happens when I hit play. Logic doesn't play the first chord at all. It doesn't start playing any audio for this track that's been soloed until the next chord. And if we zoom out here on solo and do the same exact thing for the entire production. All the tracks eventually kick in, but not until the playhead crosses over the MIDI data for that track. So it took a second for the 808 to kick in, then the analog EP synth, and then eventually the Mellotron chord once we got to bar 15. Again, you don't wanna to have to place the playhead several bars back or at the beginning of the project just to hear that one chord or that one note that hangs around a little bit longer than everything else. You can easily change this behavior for many data in Logic Pro by going up to the menu bar at the top, going to file, go down to project settings, and then to MIDI. Under the MIDI settings, there are several tabs. And what you want to hone in on is the Chase tab. And right here, we have a section called Notes with which you can turn on or turn off the ability for Chase to follow sustained notes or MIDI data for no transpose instrument channel strips. So what does this all mean? Well, first, let's just turn on the sustain option. Then let me bring the playhead right back to the middle of the Mellotron flutes here. Let me solo and take a listen at what happens here. As long as the playhead is somewhere in the midst of that note, you will hear it play back when you hit play. No longer do you have to pull the playhead before any and all MIDI performances so you can hear it. You can just hit play and Logic will play it back as you expect it to. So we unsolo and let me move the settings here. Let me now slap this as close as I can to the middle. So I'm in the middle of my Mellotron chord here middle of this 808 synth and in the middle of the analog EP synth. Take a listen. That's really all you needed to do was just go to file project settings, MIDI, and under the MIDI settings here, go to the chase tab and just turn the sustain option on, which can be found under notes at the very top. But just because we're here, why don't we explore also what the heck in no transpose instrument channel strips means in relation to chasing MIDI notes. Well, let me move the window to the side for a second and we're gonna hone in on the drums here, which sound like this. Cool, so we're talking about basically drums and percussion, stuff that you don't wanna transpose up or down 
in the event that you decide to transpose a section of your project or the entire project. Take a look at the track inspector on the left-hand side inside the inspector. And if I select my drum kit, you can see there's this option that's enabled called no transpose. What does this actually mean? Well, let me first convert this pattern region to a MIDI region. I'll just click OK. And if we take a look here, let me move this out of the way again. You can see every drum hit is exactly the same. But let's say that they're not. Some are a bit longer just because that's the way I composed it. So I'll trim the end of these notes to the next selected note. And I'll just click keep. Okay, this will sound exactly the same. None of these drum hits will sound longer in performance. It's just the note visually is longer. Take a listen again. Okay, you know what it sounds like. Let's now go to the global track lanes at the top. And I'll use this lane called transposition. If you right click or hold control and click here on one of the headers of the global track lanes, you could show or hide any of the options. Check it out. I'm gonna click on bar 13, bar 17, and just drag this up by let's say four semitones and take a listen to what this sounds like. Cool, so our 808, the analog EP synth, all of these tracks have been transposed by four semitones, except the drums. The drums are identical to how they were before. I know it sounds like there's a pitch variation, but it has nothing to do with this going on at all. In fact, if I undo, and if we solo, That's just a result of me converting from a pattern region to a MIDI region. Apparently I had quantized the notes of each individual drum element when I was using the pattern region. That's okay. So if we bring these back, scale this up, even, you know, a full octave, take a listen. but everything else has changed. Right, this is a tremendous benefit of the fact that this track right here for our drums is set to no transpose. It will not transpose when I play with the transposition of any section of the project. But take a look, if I place the playhead for this track in the middle of this kick hit, do we hear the kick hit? We don't. If I place it in the middle of the snare hit, we don't hear it. That's where this option for Chase comes in for no transpose instrument channel strips. By enabling this, now Logic will play back these notes, even if the playhead is in the middle of the note. Right, that was the kick drum. If we take a listen to the snare, or this clap here, and now everything plays back. Which by the way, if you're curious, this no transpose option, if it's not enabled, check it out. If I bring this back down, turn this off, bring it up, what's it sound like? In this case, the drums actually do transpose to other elements of the kit, which is obviously something you don't want. There you have it, everything you need to chase MIDI notes for playback so you don't have to have the playhead directly before any note that you wanna hear. It can be towards the end, you'll still hear that note or chord trigger no matter what. And if you're playing with transposition in your Logic Pro projects and you wanna make sure that those channel strips to playback as expected, regardless of where the playhead is, Make sure to enable the in no transpose instrument channel strips is also enabled under the notes under the chase section of the MIDI settings. But remember, all project settings are not saved globally across all Logic Pro projects. 
You'll have to enable this option for MIDI Chase for any and all projects that you open, unless you create a new template with these MIDI settings in place, and then open that template every time you sit down to produce, create, or record in Logic Pro. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, as always, please subscribe to Wide Logic Pro Rules on the website or here on the channel. And please be sure to check out the description below where I always have links to templates, guides, PDFs to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll see you for more next week. Take care.